All right, welcome back, everybody. This is going to be part two of the setting up the Windows 2012 base system for our Link clones within our Ultimate VirtualBox video series. And in part one, we went ahead and installed the server OS. We also installed the guest editions. We set the time. I changed the name of the computer and um, set a static IP address. And then the last thing we did really was we installed all the updates. So all the updates are installed. Uh, this one should be good to go. There's one last thing I want to I do before we get started here, and that is to configure Windows Update to not automatically install or download and install. I just wanted to notify me that there's some updates that need to be done. Because remember, this system is actually going to be turned off all the time, and we're not going to ever turn it on unless we need to run some updates or something like this on our base system. So, if we choose our Windows Update settings here, and we do check for new updates, but let me, actually, you know what, maybe it would be best if we just never check for updates. And then, you know, once a month I'll go in here and actually do this, and, and update the base system. So let's just do never check. Uh, go ahead and hit OK, and we should be good on that. So now what we want to do actually is, we want to clean up as much as we can, uh, from this hard, virtual hard drive here. We want to basically make the hard, the VDI size as small as we can and compact as we can. And there's a couple things we need to do for this. So first, um, now in this case, we didn't install any service packs. Or maybe in the future, there's going to be some service packs coming down or whatever. And you know, when you when you download and install service packs, there's some um, files left over and whatnot. So what we want to do within VirtualBox here. Let's go ahead and open up uh, an elevated command prompt here. Right click, run as administrator. And the command for this is going to be DISM space switch online space switch clean up image space switch SP superseded. Superseded. There we go. We're going to run that. And it says there's no service pack backup files found. So we're okay on that front, but we ran it anyways. All right, so now we want to remove some Windows Update backup files here. Because it's gonna, we're going to just try to clean up this drive as much as possible. So the way to do this is while we're still in the uh, elevated command prompt, let's go ahead and clear this. Let's go ahead and run uh, services. So services.msc. Yeah, we want to stop, let's see, the Windows Update Service, if I can get my mouse, oh, there we go. So W, and then Windows Update Service, we're going to go ahead and just right click and stop that. Then we want to delete the C drive, not delete the C drive, but we're going to go to C, we're going to go to Windows, Software, Distribution. Okay, let's go ahead and just delete this. And this will not be, you'll, you'll not be able to delete this folder if your Windows Update service was still running. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. All right, that's deleted. Let's go ahead and start Windows Update. So we need to also disable Hibernate if it's enabled here. So the command for that is, again, in an elevated PowerShell prompt, we're going to run power CFG. Is it? Yeah, P O W E R C F G dot E X E space hibernate space off. If you installed this base system on a non SSD, you probably want to do a defrag a couple times before we move on. But this one's installed on an SSD. I don't need to do that. The next thing we need to do is we would need to run S delete. This is going to prepare the VDI for compacting. We need to go download this as well. So we're going to go ahead and go to Explore. Nice for later. Let's see. S delete. I guess I should have probably showed you guys the file size of, of the C drive before and after, but uh, but that's okay. Trust me here. It will clean it up a little bit. You'll save a gig or two. Uh, download it. It says RS delete. Go ahead and add it to the trusted sites. 
I'll just save it. Let's open the folder, extract this bad boy. Let's go back to our elevated command prompt here, clear this. Oops. And what we need to do is we need to, uh, let's go to downloads, CD downloads, CDS delete, and there it is right there. So the command we need to run here is S delete, switch Z, capital Z, or actually it doesn't matter, I think, lowercase Z, C. Okay. So right now it's just, like it says, clean up the free space on the C drive. And it's just going to prepare it for the next step, which is to compact that VDI. All right. That took a couple minutes, and you can see the results. One drive's zapped. All right. So, so at this point, let's go ahead and shut this thing down here. So we're going to power shut down. Okay, now that it's shut down, let's go ahead and just open up. It doesn't have to be an elevated command prompt or a PowerShell prompt. Let's just go ahead and open a PowerShell. Okay, we need to CD into, let's see, C, Program Files, Oracle, and VirtualBox, because there's some command line utilities within here. So the command to compact this VDI is gonna be VBox manage, space, modify VDI, space, and then we need the path to where that, um, VDI stored, so on mine it's on the S drive, VM storage, Windows 2012 base, and then right here. Now from a previous uh, pro tip video I did, or tutorial, we're gonna use the copy as path feature. So we're gonna hold shift, we're gonna right click, copy as path, come back over here, right click, and then the last thing we need to do is add a space, and then the word compact. Hit enter. Okay, so that didn't take very long at all. So that VDI should be shrunk down as much as possible. So we'll go ahead and close that. Go ahead and close that window. And let's go ahead and fire this up one last time. There's a couple other things we need to do in here. Basically, the final thing we need to do here within the server is we're going to sysprep it. So to sysprep this thing, we're going to go ahead and let's see. We're going to open up a command prompt. I don't think it needs to be elevated, so we'll try it just like this. Um, we're going to do, let's see, we're going to do CD, C, Windows, System32, SysPrep, and let's just go in here, DIR, and you can see our SysPrep EXE is right there, so let's just go ahead and run that, SysPrep EXE, hit enter. Now our options here is we want to enter system out of the box experience, okay? So basically SysPrep is just going to make it so the next time you boot up the OS, um, you know, it's, it's like you're buying a brand new machine and it's going to have some basic setting options for you to do. So uh, we definitely want to generalize and we want to shut down because we do not want this thing to boot back up ever until we're ready to install some updates. But that's a later video when we have updates to install. Basically, we're just going to run that. Okay, and it's just shutting down. All right. So a couple other tiny things we need to do here is let's create a base snapshot because then all the clones will be based on this snapshot. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go into snapshots. We're going to create one. Let's call this version 1.0. Okay, so in the future when we do new snapshots, we can name it like version 2.0 or whatnot. In description, let's just type in here initial, let's see, version of Windows 2012 all patched up up to date let's do up to date as of today which is 4 3 2013 yeah. oh. let's hit okay all right version 1.0 oh actually I should have added some more comments to that let's add in there sys prep oob executed before shutdown. All right, so we're good there. Okay, so the last thing here before we end this video is we wanna set this VM to not boot. We just, we don't want it to boot up at all. So let's go into settings, 
We're gonna go to system, we're gonna go to motherboard, and let's uncheck all these devices here. Just so if somebody accidentally, or maybe I'll accidentally hit start when I'm on this thing, and then hit okay, and we should be good at this point. So the next video, we're gonna be setting up our first link clone. Um, it's a pretty simple process, and it actually is gonna work out pretty well, so for at least for what I'm trying to accomplish here. So it's to save hard drive space or SSD space while being able to set up a ton of different uh, VMs for our learning environment. All right, guys, thanks for hanging in there, and uh, please leave any questions and comments below, and don't forget thumbs up. All right, talk to you later, bye.